Hi and welcome to Your Local Link Does Beauty. Today, which is the first time that we've ever done beauty, I've put some makeup on, look. Makeup on my face. Um, we're going to test eye rock. These are designer liner eyeliner de creation, which I believe is French. Um, it's instant eyeliner tape. So basically we've got all these lovely different designs, look. And then if we just take a little look inside, I think it's basically, if you remember the uh, instant tattoo transfers that we would have as children in the 1990s, it's basically a bit like that. Um, you stick it on your face and then you look dead pretty in that. So I'm going to try these out with my two glamorous assistants, Rachel and Crystal. Hello. And we're going to make ourselves look lovely. So now we're going to choose our lashes um, using a very scientific method. Um, we're going to use it to like use our face shapes um, and eye colour and things to determine which person should have the best uh, designer liner. So basically we're all going to pick one up off the floor. <laughs> Go! Oh. So I've got this oh. one, which I think will look very nice. Rachel's got one I've quite got similar. Yeah. And slightly thicker maybe. And then Crystal has got a flicky flicky on the end. Mm. We are just discussing how these could actually be used to create a Liam Gallagher-esque look. Or someone from Kiss if you're Crystal. <laughs> <laughs> so, you get your, if you forget which one's which, the one with the straight, that straight bit goes nearest to your eye, I think. So, we need to peel it. This might take some time. Yeah, come back in a bit. So, you peel it. Oh, apparently, you're supposed to try not to hold the actual bit that's going to stick to your eye too much so use some tweezers and then attempt to put it onto your eye. I've forgotten which way around it goes already. <laughs> this is going to be interesting. Be your left eye. <laughs> I know your right eye. I don't know where to your... Remember you've got to trim them to fit in the inside of your eye. Yeah. Wait, hello. I explain how we just fixed it. Uh, basically, it turns out I hadn't looked at it properly. Who did? Howard looked at it properly. A man. Shut up. He's just really good at beauty. But basically, whoa, where's it? There they are. It's already cut out for you, look. You don't need to do any trimming. As you can, <laughs> as you can see, this is much smaller than we originally imagined. We thought it was going to be about <laughs> probably more realistic for our eyes really so we're gonna try it again to put it on skinny side towards the eye if I can manage it and it's a little bit fiddly oops Looks cool. I'd, I'd have to fill the gap in the little, little mm. bit of eyeliner but it's not too bad that was cool, there we though. go that's a bit better. Looks much nicer than the last time. So, yeah, they're a little bit fiddly, but if you're not very good at painting your own stuff on, then yeah, they're pretty. Thanks. Hi. Before. After. <laughs> Before. <laughs> After. So, uh, it feels a bit like having it when you've got false eyelashes on. You can feel there's something there. But, but they're quite impressed with the shape. Yeah. yeah. It can make a really nice shape that would you need a really steady hand. Oh. Yeah, to be able yeah, to do it. If, so if you're not very good at drawing eyeliner on, then these are dead good. And they've got different um, oh, it works. Things. Yeah, that's quite cool. Oh you look good. Thanks, Crystal. Crystal's reaction. Yeah. Good.